So, I was at the grocery store today and I found some new Hot Wheels. They are the Holiday Hot Wheels. So we're going to do some opening of Holiday Hot Wheels. There's a total of six in the series. Sorry about all the rattling bag. And uh, I bought two sets, complete sets, one to open and one to save. I was actually thinking about a holiday giveaway, but then I started thinking against it because when you get holiday giveaways for toys, you attract a lot of kids under the age of 13. And I don't want to run the risk of some kid winning and sending me his inf information for any reason. I know I may sound a little paranoid, but after all the copper ruling and the YouTube settlement, I uh, just don't need the hassle. So, you know, goodbye, fun. So anyway, let's see uh, if we can get a couple of sets here together. And then we will show each individual. If I can go there. If I can go there. If I can go there. What are we missing from this one? One of these. All right, from now, I'll put those there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see if we can get these up here. All right. Here, let me uh, kill this one. Just go to camera one. All right. Here is... You notice the uh, carbonator right here is a 2020 Happy New Year card. Well, that's part of the collection, and I will show you. You're not going to see it on that. That's the Carbonator 2020. But if you look on the back here, you will see that that Carbonator is right there. And that's the complete set of six of Holiday Hot Rods for 2019. So we are going to look at these. And uh, what do you say we start off with, uh, sorry, I'm just fumbling around here. We're going to start, well, in no particular order. Just start off so you guys can get a good look. And, uh, yeah, so here we have, this is called the Rockster. Yeah, the Rockster. Cool artwork there too. And uh, this is number one of six. I guess maybe we'll just go like that, one of six. And then we'll do two of six. And then I will put these on a little display base here. And uh, you guys can get a good look there. Hold on. There. Get some focus in there. Maybe I better kill the light, huh? There we are. That's better. I feel the oh, roll's good. That's for sure. So have a good look at it. So the gold bottom, plastic wheels, of course. The uh, body is uh, die cast, so that's a nice little paint scheme on there, and uh, it says. Trying to see what that says on the side there. Now I'm dropping it and throwing it around. Put my old man glasses on. It says Hot Wheels Winter 19. And it has a little snowman on the side. Right there. And some snowflakes. So yeah, moving right along. I will use this garbage bag here for my trash. Alright. Let's go with number two of six. And this one is the Scream Liner. Here. See that? There you are. 
nice best of paint on the side there. Come on, there you are. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's a beautiful green, like an evergreen. Uh, the gold chrome. Red windows, which is really nice. Let's see how this camera's acting. Uh, you know what? Let's try this one by itself first. Yeah, you're still not getting the color. These cameras, uh, maybe it's my lighting. I don't know. You can see it's got red windows, gold chrome, white wheels, beautiful paint job. You see it, it, it looks black. It almost looks black, but it's not black. It's green. It's a dark green, but uh, it's a good looking car. Let me see if I can get some more light on the subject here. I'm not promising anything. Bottom of that car. Good looking car. I like it. All right. Moving on. Number three of six, we have Audacious. You see that? There you are. And Audacious seems like it has the same snowman logo on it, and it says Hot Wheels Winter 19. So uh, let's crack this hot rod open. Good looking car. Yeah, it's a coffee color, a uh, metallic coffee color with a clear window, uh, gold molded plastic interior, nice handsome black stripe running down the entirety of the car. Cool little graphic on the side of snowflakes and your uh, little snowman logo. I'm guessing that's Hot Wheels logo for holiday 2019. Come on, there you are. No, you're not going to focus? Why not? There we are. It had it for a moment. Maybe it's my hands. Or not. I gotta give you guys a good shot of that thing. Maybe. Anyway, moving right along. Number four of six, we have the Scorcher. Now this one's made it into the Halloween uh, Hot Wheels a couple of times, so they may have designated this a good holiday Hot Wheel. But it'll be Halloween or the winter season. So you see, it has a uh, old gold plastic bottom, red wheels, gold chrome on the outside, and again, it says Hot Wheels Winter 19. Also. And it also has the snowman decoration. Oh boy, I wish this thing would see a snowman logo right up there on the fender. Somewhere. That camera there just doesn't want to focus. That's too bad. Red window. There. Oh, it was there for a minute and then it wasn't. Let me see if I can kill. Maybe there's a light source that's not allowing it to focus. Could be the reflection of that mirror there. Who knows? Anyway, going back to camera number one. Focus. Not going to. Kind of looks like a Mustang front end. Anyway, moving right along. Going to number five of six, we have the Muscle Tone. This car is done in blue with silver and white graphics down the side. And it says uh, 19 on the door, of course. And it does have the Snowman logo on the quarter panel there. Let's open it up. Good looking car. Clear window. 
gold tone interior. Nice graphics on the side. The car feels very well made. Nice. Give you a shot of it on the, the mirror table here. I don't know how well that's going to go. Maybe I should get it down on a lower uh, angle. I'll try that. I'm messing with my cameras now. Let's see what we get now. Well, that's a lower angle, all right. Will it focus? Nope, it doesn't want to focus. I have it on autofocus. Maybe that's a mistake. Let's see what we have here. Take it off autofocus and see if I can focus it myself. Maybe. There. Maybe I won't touch that. See if it stays in focus. I killed the autofocus. And then we will go back over these cars once more. So you can see them. In their entirety. After we get done with our last car. Very cool. Alright so. Last but certainly not least. Is the Hot Wheels. I'm going to guess that's a New Year's car. 2020. You see. This is the carbonator. We are going to open this bad boy up right now. And uh, good looking car. Nice blue. Very cold looking, as it should be for the season. White wheels. A nice clear Coke bottle. Don't focus there. There you are. Happy New Year. Hot Wheels 2020 right there. So you have a gold molded plastic again. That seems to be the theme throughout this line. And you have a gold turbine there. Molded blue bottom. In fact, the blue bottom is an anodized aluminum. Metallic. And uh, I wouldn't suggest opening bottles with these. I'm sure you'll get a couple of bottles open before this thing snaps off. So, anyway, it's it's a novelty. So, yeah. Let's go back to camera number two. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Man, screw that autofocus. This is really nice. Very cool. Now, let's give you a peek at the ones you didn't get to see. To, we're never in focus. Nice snowflakes running down the top. I just now saw, saw that. I just got it. Just now. Probably because I was relying on that camera before. I wasn't seeing anything. Here's the number two car in that line. Very shiny paint on that car. And I do like the red windows. Nice touch in the gold chrome. Very cool. Nice. That's probably my least favorite right there. But I do like the green wheels. As far as holiday Hot Wheels go, I mean, these are really nice. Oh, and I, I'm going to pause here for a moment because I have an old one that I've been waiting to open for the holiday. I picked it up in Tennessee back in April. And I paid a buck for it, but uh, today would be a good day to open it as an honorable mention. No, it's not from 19 or 2019. Maybe from 1990s. I don't, I don't really remember. There's Audacious. Great coffee color because I love coffee. Nice black stripe down the 
the, down the center. And you notice on next to the black stripe, you'll have a gold tone stripe next to it, which is really nice. Now you can see the snowman logo on the door. Very cool. Yeah, so that is really cool set of Hot Wheels. And I'm going to get the one. All right, I got a couple of them. This is also a holiday Hot Wheel. But this is a really nice Hot Wheel. I'm going to go ahead and open it. But this is a metal body, metal chassis, and real riders. So Pontiac GTO and uh, has a line of holly running down the side. I picked this up at a show for, I think, 2 or $3. And uh, now I will struggle to find something to open this with. That's just the way it goes, I guess. I'm going to try to stab it with these. Oh, that worked. Now, that's a very heavy car. Let me get this rubbish out of my way. Yeah. That is a very heavy car. And we will go to camera two here in a moment. So you can really get a good look at it. Yeah. Done in silver. You can see that green stripe going all the way. Well, it ends in holly with berries. So, yeah, that I, I'm not sure what year that how, uh, holiday GTO is from. I just don't know. But uh, I liked it when I saw it. So, I grabbed it. I've never seen it before. So, you can see it's got a very brilliant silver paint on it. White interior. Chrome rims. Real riders. Steel bottom. Metal top. It's a nice car. And nobody's going to know it's a holiday Hot Wheel unless I tell them. Like I just, I mean, because you're really not going to, unless you're really examining that little holly leaf on the quarter there, you're not going to know. That is a nice car, I must say. But that's not the one I picked up in Tennessee. I'm going to get to that one right now. I'm going to lean back here and grab it. Switching cameras again. All right. This one here was at a an old antique store. And they had these tables sitting outside. Literally, the tables never went in. The stuff that was on the tables just stayed on the tables. I mean, they weren't covered. They were sunbaked. They were just rained down all the time. You can see this package here. Look at this. Uh, yeah, these are from the, this is the 1996 holiday edition. Right here, you can see it says 1996. Hopefully, you can see that. Yeah. So. I picked this up, and I said, well, I'll open it at the holiday. Well, guess what? It's the holiday. And uh, it looks to me like there is nothing wrong with the car itself. So we are actually going to open this. And uh, finally, I could throw this disgusting package away. And uh, I could just feel the grime on the package now. It, it's nasty. I mean, I, since I brought it home, I just left it uh, on the shelf in there. I didn't want to touch it because it, it looks gross. And, uh, yeah, gross. You can see the sun bleach. You see it white? That shouldn't be white. It should be pink or red. It should be that red right there. So, you know, like I said, it was sitting out in the sun for God knows how long. But it's been around a long time, so and it comes with a little Hot Wheels case right here. I'm going to guess you put your Hot Wheel in there and it becomes an ornament. But let's see if that's actually true do I have to uh, here let me get a different camera oops wrong one here I'm trying there we are wow look at all that tape what a waste what a waste huh I'll just peel the plastic like this. There's our case. And how is this on here? Oh, really? What am I missing? Well, they ha it, it's on this medallion here. It's cardboard medallion. And that is riveted to the bottom of the box. So I guess I should be careful until I figure out. All that is on there. 
Because I oh I see. There's a little string here. It's holding it on, so I guess I should try to cut that, huh? This is fun. Not really. Get rid of that. Get off as much of this cardboard as I possibly can. Yeah, so this is how the Nomad is mounted with a bunch of string and tape. And it looks like it's just string. Where did my tweezers go? Here they are. Let's see if I can actually... Uh, That looks like I broke that one. I didn't break the car. I broke the string. That one broke? No. Oh, it's almost free. It is free. Wow. What a pain in the butt. And now they have this intertwined throughout. You see that down here in the lower caption? I'm eager to look at this car, but I'm also eager to get these Wow, what a pain in that. You know what? Hmm. What did they not think anybody was going to uh, pull these out of the package? It looks like they got that twine so far around there. What a pain. That had to be one expensive packaging proposition at the time. How much time was spent doing that? I got the rear wheel free. <laughs> now let's work on the front. And then we will look at the car. I promise. I don't want to bend the axles doing it. I mean, that's a pain in the butt. Come on. Oh, there's one. I got the one free. That's nice. Oh, I think I got the other one. Oh, hold on. I mean, I, I, I'm willing to bet the guy who thought of this packaging job was fired after the first season. All right, so here. We have our... I'm going back to another camera. All right. So there's our Nomad. We have a Christmas tree on there, of course. And uh, it, it, you have a lot of, uh, by the way, Spectre Flame is what it looks like to me. It's got the old black wall style, but red chrome uh, mags. Uh, oh, look, there's down a sunroof. It says 1996. Clear window. A cream colored um, interior. Oh, and the back is loaded with presents. Let's have a look there. Look at that. Wow. And I left this in the package since April. What was I thinking? Wow, that is too nice. And I think there is... Oh, you know what? There is. There is a piece of plastic inside the hood here. I'm guessing to stop it from... There we are. Moving around in there is what I'm guessing. Let me uh, see if I can. There we are. See a piece of plastic that came right out of there? Toss that aside for now. Let's have a look at this engine that's under here. And there we are. You see the engine? Let's have a good look at that. I mean, um, I think this was the Alive 55, but this one is not saying that it's the Alive 55. Um, I will have a look at that with my glasses on. No, it says Hot Wheels Vintage, Classic Nomad. But uh, 
I know originally that was called the Alive 55 because I just refinished one of those. And uh, yeah, wow, is that a beautiful car? I don't think we can handle it too much because of all the the Christmas trees glued on, obviously. Um, and the glitter, I mean, the glitter is nice. It's a holiday Hot Wheels, so that's fine. But the more you handle it, the more that stuff's going to come off in your hands. So let's get it out of our systems now. Let's handle it all we can right now. Oh, and it's got red lines on there, too. Boy, you talk about cheating. They're not exactly red line. They're almost burgundy, but there's definitely a red line on there. What a nice car. By the way, metal bottom. Metal chassis. And I still think, I think these cars can still be had at a relatively cheap price. So, I don't know. But you know what? It's a holiday Hot Wheel, and it's gorgeous. I have another ho oh, I have other holiday Hot Wheels, too, but they're not something I want to open because they're kind of pricey. You know, like Santa Claus hanging outside of one. I think it's like a $45 car, and I don't feel like opening it. And But this one, I paid a buck for. So, you know, open it, open away, and enjoy it because it is gorgeous. Good-looking car. So, yeah, you know, uh, after, you see, <laughs> that's what you do. You open this guy. This guy right here. And you open the blue one. And good thing I opened the 2019 ones first because uh, had I opened them afterwards, I would have been really disappointed because these previous holiday Hot Wheels are just absolutely gorgeous with their red lines and their metal chassis and metal bodies and beautiful paint. Nice. So, yeah, I'm just really bummed out that I couldn't, uh, oh, you know what, before I go on my little rant here, let's see how this works. It's got a little uh, something in there, here, see that? It says, oh, Hot Wheels Offer. Mail stop M1, you know, whatever. What is the offer? Oh, lots of paper in here. Oh, note to the consumer please remove and discard the clear plastic piece located in the hood of your holiday vehicle. Thank you. I did that. I guess I should have read that first when I had to guess. Two year warranty. Oh. So your limited warranty. So yeah, you know, uh, I guess back then, maybe uh, failure if uh, if defective, return the product along with proof of date of purchase. Post it free pig. So there you are. And this offer was for, oh, join the Hot Wheels Club. Right there. I know you can still do that, but I don't think this card's going to hold much weight. So that's that. And, uh, yeah, somehow our car, our holiday Hot Wheel, is supposed to fit in there just like that and become an ornament. Just like that. So, yeah, you have that. Very cool. I won't keep it in there. I want to enjoy it. But look at how gorgeous that little case is. Very cool. Yeah, so I know these things still can be had fairly cheap. So uh, I've seen them on eBay. I don't know. It, they just don't seem to be very desirable. And I don't understand it because I just opened it. And uh, I'm blown away by that car. And that one. So, yeah. Anyway. Got that out of my system. Yeah, I really wanted to have a Halloween, a Halloween, a holiday giveaway. <clears throat> when I ran my 
RC channel, which is still there. But I don't do much on it anyway. Just people just view the tutorials I had on nitro engine repair. But for two consecutive years, I had giveaways, you know, uh, holiday giveaways, uh, whether it be RC drones or, or small RC cars. I did that and I enjoyed it. And twice, I suspect I know that uh, children won uh, one, one year and a, a child won another year. And I had three giveaways per season, three prizes. And uh, one year, a kid won one of the prizes. And a second year, a kid won another one. And I know these kids were below 13 years old, whatever. I'm not doing that anymore. Unfortunate. Well, you know, I could put a disclaimer in and say, no kids under 13. But that's rude. You know, if I'm reviewing toys, kids are going to watch those. So I got to be fair. But I don't want anybody sending me any information about mailing addresses or anything else so understand that takes the fun out of it for me it really does and i know kids uh they they target giveaway videos at, at holidays that's been my experience they they look for them and then they they try to win they subscribe to you leave a comment and they win and i don't want their information you know and i know uh the the, the kappa ftc ruling was about data collection but again, you know, this opens up a whole new can of worms. I don't want anything to do with anybody's information unless you're, uh, you know, above 18 years old and, you know, show me an ID. You know, I just don't need it. So uh, I went through and I changed almost all my videos, all my toy related videos that were reviews to made for kids. I don't need the hassle. I just don't. So you're going to see a change in my channel, and uh, I may be doing a lot more of this kind of stuff. Not that I'll get out of toys for good, and not that I'll get out of repairing toys. I'm not doing that. But I'm going to be mindful that when I do a review on a toy, um, I'm fairly confident that a vintage toy is not being sought after by any kid under 13 years of, old, uh, of age. Just not happening. However, Hot Wheels is still a very strong seller for kids six and under. They, they really are. And kids above that, you know, like myself. So I got to be mindful of that. And so I wanted to give a set of these away. That was my that was my mindset when I bought a two sets of these, you know. And then before I even got home, I went, yeah, that's a bad idea. So, you know, you can't tell kids not to come to your channel. You know, YouTube's tried and they failed, you know, because... You can you can only sign up if you're 13 and older, but uh, it doesn't stop parents from handling handing a kid a uh, a device, a pad, a phone, uh, turning a television on for them with YouTube. And yeah, you know, kids are going to watch toy channels. They're going to watch what they're going to watch. And if the parents are not going to police that, we have to self police, and uh, that's just the sad state of affairs. So anyway, yeah, I just want to get that little rant out of my system so that's been my look at the 2019 what do we call them hot wheels holiday hot rods Alrighty, i got that right out of my system now so yeah thanks for coming along